how I was able to get a 40 acre farmland for free. We'll be talking about how I was able to get free farmland to work on. So the first thing I did, I was talking to a, I was talking to an, to an individual, and I remember this lady was telling me that she owned a piece of land somewhere that she had no idea where, she just knew which county. Uh, at that time, she said it was at, uh, in Okeechobee County, Florida. So I asked her, what was the size of the land? She said it was about an acre, an acre or something like that. Not too, not not too big, about an acre. When was the last time you've been there? And she mentioned, uh, maybe 12, 13 years ago. And I kept asking her, I kept asking questions because I was curious. Because for a long time, I always wanted to have a piece of land to farm. But you know. I just I didn't have the resources to purchase the land that I wanted to, but I always knew I wanted to start in organic farming to grow natural food. So you know we kept discussing about we kept talking about it and I asked her how much money you pay in taxes. She says not much. I'm like give me a number. I'm curious. At that point she refused to tell me, and she didn't want to talk about it anymore. But because I kept pressing, she said she pay about. She said it wasn't much, but she wouldn't give me a number. And I asked her, do you pay your taxes? Do you keep up with it? And she told me, no. And I'm like, you know you're going to have to pay this money, right? She was like, yeah, I know. But I'm like, every year you don't pay for it. It's going up and up. Why don't you just pay it every year? And she says she just didn't have time, uh, it wasn't much, it's okay, she's going to pay for it. I'm like, so what's your plan for this land? She said, oh, one day I might sell it. But I'm like, it's been almost 13 years. She wasn't keeping up on her taxes. She had this piece of land out in the country somewhere that she hasn't been there for over 12 years. So anyway, maybe she was telling me half of the truth, maybe everything was the truth. But I decided I'm going to find me a piece of land that I'm not going to own, that I didn't buy, purchase with my own money. But there's someone out there, there's a lot of people out there who purchase land and they, it, the land just sitting, not doing anything with the land and hoping that they're going to turn around and sell that piece of land in the future for a profit. So she gave me an idea. At that time, I was looking for land to farm. So I will be discussing step by steps how I was able to get this farmland that I do not own, but nonetheless it's a free 40 acre farmland to farm to farm on. So I started going to the countryside. I fill up my tank. I took a I, I took a, I, I took a drive to the country, and I download this app. This app is, is I downloaded this GPS app called ONX Hunt. This one right here, I'm gonna open it. I downloaded this app, ONX Hunt. So this app, it, this app is a GPS app. What it does is when you go out in the country and you see a piece of land that's, like the grass is overgrown, there's no livestock on that piece of land and it looks like it's been abandoned for a number of years. So what this app will do is, you can pinpoint your location and this app will give you the owner's name. It will give you the person who owns that land name. And from there, you can start your search and start doing your research so you can get in contact with the owner of that piece of property. So I downloaded this app and I went out to the country. Um, I did this for about two, two, two months and a half. And ho behold, I was able to find a 40 acre piece of land that looked like it's been abandoned. Nobody has been there for a number of years. The grass was overgrown. 
in that area, all the property, the grass was nicely kept, cut. Uh, some of them had uh, cows, livestock, and there was no trees. But this piece of property had trees, the grass was overgrown, and it fit, a piece, it, 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 it fit the criteria that I was looking for. A piece of property that has been abandoned for a number of years, and I was able to find this for the acre. So I did my research, went to the uh, property appraiser office, and I also looked them up online, and I was able to contact, lucky for me, I was able to contact the owner. And I found out the owner of that piece of property was a guy who lived in Palm Beach, Florida. So I called this person, um, and we spoke on the phone, and I told him, hey, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, do you own any land in Okeechobee? He said, yes. He said, am I calling because I want to purchase the land? He has been a lot, he has been getting a lot of calls from different people who's offering him to sell the land, but they, they, they didn't want to give him uh, more than he paid for for it. So I said, no, I'm not calling you to purchase the land. I'm calling you because, um, in fact, um, I, I'm curious uh, how much you pay for taxes on that piece of property. He said, oh, man, oh, my God, maybe I got lucky. Oh, oh man, I paid close to uh, 6500 a year on that piece of property. I'm like, why do you pay so much? How come, yeah, why do you? He said, well, because I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any animals on the land. I'm not doing anything with it. That is why the county is charging me this much. And I say, sir, um, it's it's been my dream to 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 farm. I love to farm. Um, if you let me farm on your land, um, I can help you lower your taxes. If you let me put some goats there, I can help you lower your taxes. Uh, the next time the county does an inspection. Uh, they will see that you're doing something with the land and and they will lower your taxes and at that point uh, some of his fencing has already been um, damaged uh, the, uh, and, 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 and I say I went out there and I took a look um, you have a lot of work to do some of the fencing they need replacement I'll do all that uh, you don't have to pay me anything all I want to do is be able to f follow my passion follow my dream if you allow me to go a garden, <laughs> I put it like if you allow me to go a garden on your land, if you allow me to farm, and the county will see that you're doing something with the land. So after two and a half months, um, to my surprise, I had five people that told me no, not because they told me no just to say no, but they had plan. Uh, they were getting ready, to, they were doing something already uh, on their property. But this guy said yes, this guy agreed. So I called the county, and I asked, and I told the county, "Hi, uh, I have this piece of property out in Okeechobee, Florida. Um, I do not own the land, but the owner is uh, allowing me to farm on the land. What do I need to do?" And the county told me two things. The county told me I need to get a permission, a land permission from the owner that stated that he allowed me to farm on his land in order for him to register me and create a farm record for me. And that is what I did. I went online and I Googled farm uh, land permission form and I found one and I did some edit to it and I filled it out and I had the owner filled it out and this is the final version. And this took about a week uh, to, to get processed by the county. Once they process that uh, permission to use in paper, they will email you. If the information you're gonna get from them is going to be a farm record number when you register on farmers.gov. What I did, that's how I was able to get a 40 acre uh, a 40-acre farmland for free to uh, to farm on.
And I, I had one of those from the landowner. See, so as you can see right here, 40 acres. I'm glad it 40 acres of land. Now, so it's been almost six months. Um, right now, I have some goats on the property. Um, I'm getting ready to fill a quarter of an acre to see what I can grow. To see what I can grow on it. Um, the soil is kind of semi. So I'm gonna get the soil. I'm gonna prepare the soil. Get the soil ready uh, to see if I can grow some okra and some other vegetables. But that is how I was able to get a 40-acre piece of land for free.